Hey guys, before we get into the rest of the video, I just wanted to update you on some of the finds that I have been housing since, it might be from this year, but much earlier this year, like many months ago. Uh, my mom and I specifically, my dad will help, my sister might help a little bit, but we have found four families to adopt, in quotations, this Christmas. And between them, there are nine children, maybe eight. Um, and so we are buying all the kids some presents and then making a Christmas dinner as well. So these are finds that I found from Dollar General last year. And those are all the stockings that I found from Five Below. And these are all the candy canes that I found from the dollar store. So these are going to be some of the stocking stuffers that we provide um, for the kids, there's like some fun stuff for little girls, little boys, you know, some crafty things, play makeup, Hot Wheels, even Legos, stuff like that. So, um, I just wanted to update you guys that I have been saving these for, pro I don't remember when I found these, probably like eight months now. Um, and now they are finally going to get a good home. So, I will let you guys know how that goes, but just wanted to keep you updated. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel, Dumpster Cam. It is that time of the year again, believe it or not, where I'm going to show you how I've decorated my house for Christmas because Christmas is less than two weeks away, which is crazy. Um, and this is the first time I've decorated for Christmas in my new house. So it's obviously the first time you guys are going to see Christmas in my new house, which is very exciting. I'm excited to show you. And I actually have a lot that I did not put up or don't have room for. Um, so I'm going to go through that and see what I want to keep and what I'm going to get rid of. Um, a lot of it is from dumpster diving. And I'll try to show you around here what's from dumpster diving as well. Um, and if I get a chance, it's dark right now. It's about 8.40 p.m. So it's, it's pretty dark outside. So I'm not going to show you out there. But if I get a chance and I remember tomorrow, I will include... A little clip of what I have out there as well. I have that dog with the mailbox, the camper, both of those I found very recently, and then a blow-up Santa that I found last year. So before we get into the house tour, I checked my P.O. box and I had four cards, um, three Christmas and a little thank you card. And I just wanted to say thank you guys so much. It's always so fun opening it up and seeing that there's something in there. So I got I got one from Angie Blackman. One from Donna. She's always commenting on my videos. Cynthia, she's diving with purpose here on YouTube. And then, I'm, I hope I'm saying this right, Yara? Yara, something like that. She says a simple fan. And she actually sent a few dollars as well. So thank you guys so much. Um, that will be put towards the Christmas, the Christmas gifts that I showed you earlier that my mom and I are purchasing. Um, we've actually purchased quite a few already, plus those little stockings and the stocking stuffers that I showed you before this, in the clip before, hopefully. I remember to put it in. <laughs> um, but thank you guys so much for those. These came from South Carolina, Michigan, Washington, and Texas, so super fun getting all of these cards to add to my, add to my Christmas cards. Um, th so thank you guys so much for that. Let's flip those upside down just so nobody's address gets shown. Um, and if you if you want my P.O. Box address, it is in um, a community post a while back, and it's in the description of like my actual YouTube channel, and I'll try to put it in the description of this video as well. But for now, let's get right into the Christmas home tour. So we're going to start here in the main space. Again, I'm only going to show you the living room, part of the kitchen, and then the bathroom. Um, my house is it's pretty much complete. And I'm going to give you a full um, updated tour and cost breakdown after Christmas once I put all of this away and I have like my regular decor back up. Um, so watch out for that. That'll be the full before and after. You'll see the before and after clips. Um, cost breakdown, all sorts of good stuff. I did get something super exciting delivered that I had built. Um, two things aren't going to be finished by then, but that's fine. They're just small things, but I'll still show you everything then. So, But for right now, let's do the Christmas tour. Just starting right here, I have a little Christmas bird, some Christmas trees, and this farm fresh trees cut your own. I believe this, yep, 
sometimes I even forget. That's from Dumpster Diving. So are these two trees. Um, I think that's it. These are from Target 90% off last year. And then I have a little tree down here that's from Dumpster Diving next to my fiddle leaf fig. And I have my Disney train curved around here. I originally was planning on putting it in a circle around this guy, but it's um, the track didn't quite fit around, and it would take up too much space anyways. But it does run. It doesn't even need the track. It runs without it, and it's super cute. Um, but I just have it here for decoration. Moving to the couch, I have two dumpster blankets. This one is Ugg with the little pom-pom, super cute. This one is a heated blanket. I don't have it plugged in at the moment, but I do have the plug, both from the dumpster. Um, same with these two pillows, Joy to the World, Merry and Bright, super cute. And then all back here in my built-in shelf, which I love. Let me just give you an overview first. Very nice, and then we'll get into it. Um, everything in this shelf is from the dumpster. That canvas is from the dumpster. Um, those are not, that's from Sears when they were closing, but still super cheap. Everything in this shelf from the dumpster. Same with this one. Um, this little tree is the reindeer thing I got at Kirkland's last year, super cheap after season. And then these are from the dumpster as well. So I love this little area, not just at Christmas time, but always. And then right next to that here, I have another little dumpster Christmas tree and a sign also from Dumpster Diving, we wish you a Merry Christmas. And when it says we, it means me and my plants. <laughs> uh, can't forget this right here in the middle. I just have some birch placemat down, a tiny little red truck, some antlers, and a little green ball. <laughs> Going to my fireplace, I have this fabulous Santa I found last year. He doesn't have a face. Um, so I just pull that down and, you know, really doesn't matter. I love him. Next to him I just have a little bird. Bird's not from the dumpster. He is, obviously. Same with this nutcracker. He doesn't have feet. Usually I hide him, but I'm not so worried about his feet this time. And this blanket's also from dumpster diving. <laughs> Same with these two matching lanterns. I have a big one and a small one. And then this adorable little chair. I just actually got this today. Um, not dumpster diving, but it was free on Facebook Marketplace. It's just like a wicker. Technically, it's a toddler chair, but for me, it is a plant chair. So I just put that there. I think it's adorable. Again, that was free, so that was a great find. Over here, two trees and a beautiful Santa from dumpster diving. And up here, I changed my basket wall a little bit, and I put one of my very first finds ever up. This is a like a wicker woven reindeer head bust. And I just put that up on the basketball for now. Super cute, and like I said, that was one of my very first finds ever. Then moving this way, on top of the mantle, I have my big Santa, um, as well as the snowflake, which again, came from dumpster diving, same with these trees. He is slashed. Um, it doesn't really bother me. When it's daytime, the light shines through. So I mean, it's kind of nice actually. <laughs> So that is that. I don't have an actual full-sized Christmas tree this year. Um, I could I could make room for one, but I just don't I don't have one first of all, and I don't feel the need for one right now. So here's this little overview of the living room, the main space, and then let me get into the kitchen area. Starting right here, I just have a little hurricane thing with a plant in it. And then this is the only side I'm going to show you. I'm going to have to move my water bottle that I didn't move. <laughs> um, everything over here from the dumpster. I love these fabulous sparkly reindeer. So in the living room, I went with like a traditional cozy Christmas theme. In the bathroom, it's a little more whimsical. And then in the kitchen here, it is silvers, golds, and greens. No reds or anything. Um, so just on top of this little cabinet here. I have, over here is just a reindeer sitting on my returnables. I have a plant in my Christmas at the Camper Cup, Noel. All of these ornaments, I still have cases of these. I found them last year at the dollar store. This adorable skiing Santa from Goodwill I found dumpster diving last year. Same with these candles and this tree. And of course this amazing grace, which I found years ago. Gingerbread, reindeer missing his antlers, but that's okay. All of this fabulous stuff. Again, most of it is from dumpster diving. Um, like this canvas, which is 
amazing and these trees and this Santa I found at the same time as the other one. He has about half of his face so I do like him a little bit more, not gonna lie. Let me move my water bottle and then heading to the table. Super cute. I just have a runner that is from Target and then everything on this little centerpiece here except for this hot cocoa is from the dumpster as well so this little tree is super cute and then last thing over here in the corner i have the other reindeer that i found a few years ago dumpster diving and then this little penguin i got at a thrift store for like 25 cents or something so that's it in the kitchen area here i wish i could get a better view that's it in the kitchen area just more of a neutral christmas and then we'll head over to the bathroom really quick Again, I'm keeping you down because I don't want to spoil anything for the big tour, but I do have something exciting going on in the plant room that I'm excited to show you guys soon. All right, here in the bathroom, I just have a few things. Um, I have this little candy cane bucket that you guys um, saw me haul a few, not too long ago. I was going to say a few days, but it was longer than that. And then a tree I got from Kirkland's 90% off. And then just this. All of this is from the dumpster except for this tree, and this was a gift. So again, a little more whimsical here in the bathroom. Um, just some stuff on the shelves, and then on the tub over here. And no, I still have not gotten an actual shower curtain. <laughs> so, have to work on that. But, that's it guys. That's all the Christmas decor I have out this year. Like I said, I have a lot that didn't quite fit or I just didn't put out, but I still think it's super cute, very cozy, and nice to come home to. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, Dumpster Cam, and I'll be back soon with more dumpster diving and house-related videos. Thank you.